There's still such a stigma attached to talking about mental health. And, you know, your sister, like, being so kind to you allows you to, to open up and talk about it. And uh, I think that's one of the beauties of Be Kind 21, you know, the 21-day challenge that people are now, you know, we're bringing a conversation to the table to have a healthy conversation about mental health. And not, you know, there's countries where people are criminalized still for having, you know, health issues and other people are not being kind to them. So, you know, what are you seeing in your community or even through the foundation of ways that young people can be kind to others and kind of break down that stigma around, around mental health? Sure thing. Yesterday, um, I had the opportunity to speak to about 500 high schoolers about this very same topic. And they submitted questions, and they are also engaged in the 21 Days of Kindness. And this was happening back in Miami. And so all over the country, young kids are mobilizing. They're getting together to talk about uh, mental health and, and kindness and how this can all um, integrate into their daily life. And a specific example is um, this organization at the school. It's, uh, the club is called SHAPE. And at this school, this, this club is a, a, is a, I think there was like 10 students who um, came together before school started to decorate the bulletin boards around school. And there are typical decorations, which I'm familiar with, um, like around campus just to make it look more lively, but they decorated with kindness, uh, like kind messages and, and words of affirmation all around the school. And for them to take the time out of their summers to come in early, they've got the same back to school uh, routines as most of the other students in their, in their school, only they took this extra step to, to change the space that they are a part of. And I think that would be the, that's, that's what I've seen, right? Young people saying, okay, we need to have more of these conversations. Let's create the space where my peers feel more comfortable to talk about these topics that aren't really easy to talk about. So I admire all of these young people who really take, uh, take that leap to talk about how they're feeling in and out of school in their communities or at home. Yeah. And it makes such a dis difference. I mean, I think that kindness can be very underrated yeah. uh, in many, many ways. And teaching young children to be kind, you know, the earlier the better uh, so that they can really better learn coping skills, conflict resolution, you know, how to get along in classrooms. So, you know, we're, we're actually seeing a lot of that, as you know, uh, with uh, learning and kindness programs in schools now that are, that are popping up, which is wonderful to see. Yeah, and I, I'm curious. So I know that um, a lot of young people, um, we hear from our parents, uh, like, be kind, right? We hear the word like be kinder or, or talk about mental health, um, be braver. And, and so um, in, in my eyes, when I saw my mother be a kind person, when I saw her say to my neighbor, listen, I know that you, like, you have to get out of work at this time. I, I can bring your kids home, right? Something as easy as like a, a ride home. Those are the examples that I saw my mom take. What are, like, what are some ways that parents can, can ex you know, exemplify kindness and showcase it? Well, it's just that, and I, I think we're wrapping our segment, but it's just that. It's, it's modeling it for one, so set that example, talk about it, and create spaces and provide tools, you know, for, for young people to to get the help they need and have the, the right tools to, to be kind and be their best self. <laughs>